Hello everyone. You're welcome to my channel. My name is Beauty Apai. Here we talk about relationship, marriage, womanhood, lifestyle, spirituality, everything in between. So um, if you're a new subscriber, um, please, um, if you're a new subscriber, welcome. Yeah. And if you're an old subscriber, you're welcome. If you're new here, please try as much as you can to subscribe to the channel and you know turn on the notification bell so you get to know when i post an amazing video um so today i want to talk about six commandments of sex in marriage um you know you can't overemphasize the importance of sex in marriage because um one of the major causes of divorce in our society today is sex as funny as that may sound um i'm a relationship counselor and i can tell you that most of the problem i have handled has something to do with sex sometimes or if not even most of the time um and i really wish or um I, only, I really wish people understand how important sex is in their marriage so what are the six commandments of sex in marriage the first commandment of sex in marriage is sex in marriage should be prioritized have you ever met people who would tell you that it's sex food my partner likes disturbing me about sex is everything in life sex i don't understand though can't we just stay like that in fact the man reached out to me and said the wife said she wished they could have a relationship without sex or better still a marriage without sex so those of you that used to say it's sex food my dear it's, it's food yes it's a priority and one thing you must understand that in marriage it is a bonding agent Co happy couples are couples who prioritize sex in their marriage so when you have sex with your partner um it releases happy hormones in the um, in the brain called um oxytocin and it bonds the both of you together so the first commandment of sex in marriage is you need to prioritize it whether you feel like whether you don't feel like whether you like it whether you don't like it just learn to like and prioritize sex in your marriage that's um, sex commandment number one sex commandment number two in marriage is this sex should not be selfish bros it's not for you alone to enjoy have you considered whether madame is enjoying it and sis, it's not for you alone to enjoy. Have you considered whether your husband is, um, whether or not your husband is enjoying it? So, sex is never about one person in the marriage. You need to consider the feelings, the emotions of your partner in marriage when it comes to sex. So, the fact that you're enjoying it, you don't care about whether your, your partner is enjoying it or not. It's never about you. In fact, better sex in marriage begins when you make up your mind to satisfy your partner and it comes from both parties. So it's not supposed to be a selfish thing when you're enjoying it. You don't care whether your partner enjoys it or not. All you care about is when you want to have sex, you just have the sex and you just enjoy it. Enjoy it. The second commandment of sex is that it, you should not be selfish. Make sure the same way you are enjoying it, your wife or your husband is enjoying it um the third commandment of sex in marriage is talk about it like you talk about any other thing in marriage you can't even have good sex when you don't talk about it some people don't feel the need to talk about sex in marriage how would you even know how to satisfy your partner when you don't talk about sex how would you even get to know what your partner wants when you don't talk about it with them sometimes my husband and i will sit down I, I i ask are you enjoying yourself are you enjoying sex is there anything you want me to do he asks me the same question you know why we both want to just make each other happy we both want to satisfy each other so talk about it there's no way you will know if you are enjoying it i told you that i, I, I married as a virgin because my husband had this virgin man for one year i wasn't enjoying sex guess what we're already talking about it so he was thinking i was enjoying it and you know having fun as he was having fun he never knew i wasn't enjoying it so until the day he sat me down and we had to talk about it i started enjoying it from that day because we were able to talk about it um find out what the problem is and prefer a solution so it's important to talk about it don't be shy don't be shy to talk about it how do we spice up our bedroom 
what do you want me to do where do you want me to go how do you want me to do this you know be free be free to talk about it so the third commandment of sex in marriage is talk about it don't be ashamed of talking about it the fourth commandment of sex in marriage is don't be boring be spontaneous explore in fact there's no way you can get to enjoy each other in marriage when you don't explore try other places <laughs> look for other positions do new things in the bedroom you know explore explore try as much as you can to explore so be don't don't be a boring person there's no way it is reason that we should always be going for missionary uh -huh, trips like you travel to preach the gospel no you don't have to be a missionary did they did they ordain you a missionary <laughs> so try other things don't be boring it will make it will make your partner look forward to having sex with you in fact sometimes discuss it even before you you have it with your partner the fifth commandment before i tell you about the fifth commandment i want to remind you to subscribe to the channel then leave a thumbs up and leave a comment in the um, comment section and i'll try to um reply you so um don't be boring another fifth commandment the fifth commandment of sex in marriage is don't get it outside like i don't understand the kind of longer truth bros no i don't want to call bros sis why do you need to go get the food you have inside outside it's the same thing you don't have to go in fact the bible condemns adultery he said the marriage bed should not be defiled so there's a cause attached to someone who goes outside to sleep what do you need that your partner does not want don't get it outside if there's anything you want from your partner that's why i emphasize on the point that you need to communicate your needs to your husband or your wife if there's anything you need let them do it for you you don't have to get it outside so getting it outside is a no is a sin you stand to risk so many things i may do a different video on that you stand to risk so many things your money your life your relationship so many things will be affected so don't get it outside the one you have inside is enough and you can enjoy it explore it and do whatsoever you want to do with what you have inside you don't have to go outside the sixth commandment of sex in marriage is be hygienic, be neat. Uh -huh. wash, wash that one. boxers. Wash that boxers. Shave. Smell nice. Be hygienic. Don't be, don't be smelly. Change the sheets. Uh -huh. Make sure that when you are brush, brush, brush your teeth. Uh -huh. You don't have to look. If, if, if necessary, take your bait. Be okay. We know that there, there are ones that you may not be able to take your bait, but make sure you are very hygienic when it comes to that. And when you know that you are battling with any sexual problem, try as much as you can to seek for help. Don't just leave it and abandon your partner and say, okay, uh, I'm having issues. You should understand. No, seek for solution and see how you can get better at prioritizing sex in your marriage. So I hope this video has been helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you next time. Bye.